Welcome back to the another video of Cricket Trolls. W. B. Raman born on 23rd May 1965 in Madras. Raman began his first class career as a left arm spinner but eventually turned into a batsman. Standing unusually tall at the crease with the left handers found as for the offside play. Workery Raman was a best man who should have ended with some generous returns than 11 tests and 27 ODIs. W. B. Raman made his test debut in his hometown at Chennai against West Indies in 1987-88, top scoring in the second innings with 83 runs and taking a wicket in the first over that he bowled in Test cricket. India bowled to victory in that match by Narendra Harwani, who took 16 wickets in his debut Test match. As with many other batsmen of his time raman was forced to open the innings in order to play for india and did so with some success raman played in 10 for the test for india until 1997 he also played in 27 one day international in the same period however he was relatively unsuccessful on the international stage his only international century 114 of 148 balls came in the third odi at centurion in the friendship tour of 1992-93 where he marched a tricky chase and led india to victory against south africa he hit six fours and won six to held his nerve for a tight Chase. He declared man of the match. This was his only ODI century, which was very admired by cricket fans and experts. Raman became the first Indian to score a hundred against the South African. Let's watch his century. There's that good line again, just on and outside of stump. Matthews. Uh, Four, fourth boundary of the innings. Three of them have been the streakiest of edges, opening the face of the bat just a little bit, and uh, very nicely played. That's the fifty up. delivery beat Raman all ends up seems to increase every time they beat the batsman very good delivery that the gap with the left hander's natural elegance is only John T Rhodes' speed and uh, then this kid the top the uh, ball will be the boundary he's starting his sixth over that is ball it was only just over the head of the man down at mid wicket Mullen a short one, Norman on the hook, and Dave Callahan on the fence makes a good effort, and and uh, yes, I'm a little bit surprised that he hasn't done so already. I'd like to get them in early and try and slip them through a few overs before the batsmen really get going. Interesting, really. The wicket looked very good, and uh, let's hope uh, the game should come out to be a very 
uh, interesting than the next. If people are to and be really interested, even though we'll also come uh, very, very close, and uh, if the people should get their money worth. I remember when we were trying to interview in the first one-day game, um, Paul Duplessy came back to me and said that uh, it was very likely that you were going to... looking bemused, disappointed as Rahman whips him away off the edge for another four in innings of some importance. That streaky shot but Rahman now well set and he has to go for uh, the shots now because India needs these boundaries. A very welcome boundary from the Indian point of view. So Rahman is batting extremely well now, 65. Azaruddin quickly back. Now, how close was that? That's four runs. Nicely played by Raman as I've been uh, sick. Well, everybody has... And this is a good hit. And it's six. takes him to 96, which is one more than his previous best in a limited over international, 95 that he made against the West Indies. Ninety-nine. The man now on 100, first one in limited overs cricket, previous highest score was 95 despite the stewards on come a handful of spectators they really shouldn't but uh, the wickets need to be protected here and the pitch and celebrations all the way around this is doing Raman's concentration no good but a wonderful inning Sonny a terrific innings there by W. Raman terrific innings he's uh, really kept his head uh, he's kept going and it's important for India that he keeps going now now that they are so close uh, to getting to the target. 183 balls, uh, six boundaries, one sixer. All of them authentic shots. Oh, there is a big hit. Is it out? Stopped it. Alan Donald of all people. Straight to him, Raman trying to get over Midon. The center ball came into him, and Donald lets it go. Even the earlier catch he'd taken of Amri. Twenty-five needed. Alan Donald. And a few minutes ago, can he become the hero? He nearly spilled the first catch he took. It bubbled. That's a valuable delivery. Oh, might be two. Is it? 
see the end of India because Ryan McMillan's the man in. Wonderful catch to take it and then hold it as he hit the deck and the end of Rahman. And Rahman trying to loft the ball over Midon because the Midon is in the circle and what a terrific catch by Brian McMillan. What a cricketer this man is. And never gives up, keeps on trying and what a terrific effort. 13. He's taken India on the brink of a victory. It's up to the remaining four batsmen now to take. Between November 1988 to December 1992, India played 25 test matches, out of which only one test was played in India. This impacted many player careers as there were not any A tours in the outside condition. Raman was one of those players. Raman's strength was his ability to outthink batsmen rather than impart outrageous spin or deliver an unreadable arm ball. He picked up wicket in his first over in test cricket of Courtney Wash. But Raman proved to be a batsman of considerable skill. He hit a purple patch in 1988-89, scoring 313 runs for Tamil Nadu against Goa. And Fargood Myers notched up two more double centuries, ending the season with 1,018 runs, surpassing Rusi Moody's 44-year-old record for most runs in a season. W.B. Raman also missed a century in his second ODI against West Indies at Rajkot in 1988. He produced a composed innings of 95 of 123 balls with the help of 6 fours. However, his innings were overshadowed by Viv Richards' 100, 110 not out in just 77 balls with 7 6 and 7 fours. Eventually, West Indies won the match by 6 wickets with 17 balls to spare. His next composed innings of 58 runs of 86 ball versus Australia at Hamilton in 1990. His efforts also gets in waves as Australia won the match by 7 wickets. His last ODI 50 came against Zimbabwe at Pune in 1993, where he scored 66 of 86 balls with the help of 2 sixes and 7 fours. Raman's international career never really got going and when Vinod Kambli was favoured over him during England tours of India in 1993, Vinod Kambli cashed in those chances, however Raman's career remained a question of what might have been. The record will show, however, that he scored 96, his highest test score against New Zealand at home in 1990. Raman also went to Sri Lanka in 1993 and did not take part in a single first-class camp. Therefore, Raman scored 617 runs in 27 ODS at an average of 23.73, including 1350s and 2 catches. In 11 test matches, he scored 448 runs at an average of 24.88 with the top score of 96, including 4 50s and 6 catches. In first class career, he amassed 7,939 runs at an average of 45.62 with the top score of 313, including 1,936 50s and 91 catches. In 87 list matches, Raman scored 2,892 runs at an average of 35.26 with the help of 400s and 1850s. Raman, who has equipped himself with the highest qualification to coach, is now the coach of the Tamil Nadu team. and continue to be one of the surest thinkers of the game. If you like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you very much.